My name is Zach. This is my channel, Ultimate Rebuilds. I like to build cool stuff. Yeah. <laughs> More recently, I just bought this pontoon boat and I'm turning it into a party barge kind of style. Uh, it's gonna have a bar, more seating, a bunch of other cool stuff. This episode, I want to get the flooring knocked out. I talked about that in the last episode. Uh, we got some stuff to figure out about that. Um, also, I want to dig into those pontoons, fix the leak, and maybe paint it. We'll see. So, stay tuned. Now for the flooring, this is final planking and they actually snap together like a, like a laminate or anything like that, but it's vinyl and waterproof so you don't have to worry about that. You would normally install it this way, just straight across, make it super easy, but <laughs> I, I don't like making things easy, so I like making things really hard for me and just super time consuming, but I really like this look of just a herringbone style. Just coming down it i think that'd be really cool to do i've never seen anyone do it on a pontoon boat or with this planking and that's because you can't do it with this planking because these grooves don't actually go into each other in all the areas so like right here it wouldn't work and all these other areas so to be able to do this i have to cut off some of the grooves or i can just cut them at an angle right here here let me show you so if I cut all the pieces like this, they'll all still snap into each other and make it a lot easier than trying to do this pattern. So it's pretty easy to cut these things, just a razor blade and it just snaps right off. So that's the plan. I wanna do the cut this side too and go back down because that's the whole herringbone pattern. But it's definitely gonna take a long time. I'm gonna have to glue it all down too because this, these won't snap into each other obviously because there's no grooves on it. But. It's all going to be glued down. I really think it's going to look cool. And I hope it's all worth it. With this feeling I can leave I'm walking and I'm leaving Will you dare to give it over And walk by my side It's done. I will probably never do it again, but it's done. You may notice I put caulking everywhere where the seams are. 
that's because these areas did not snap together so I had to like get them as tight as I could and even then it's not as tight as it would be if it snapped together so just a little bit of caulking kind of clean that up just a couple spots I need to get again but once that dries I'll go over it again one more time now I had a few comments in my last video and some of them brought up some good points. I did not think of the whole UV resistant flooring idea. Um, did not cross my mind at all. But I have a solution for that. I ordered some top coat that has UV resistant in it that's able to cover this vinyl. So I hope that's gonna solve the problem. We'll find out in the long run. That's why I'm doing this. I'm gonna test this out for you guys. As for the heat, it does get kind of hot um, not unbearable, but it isn't comfortable. So my solution for that is to wear shoes. <laughs> I have a couple solutions for this. One is to get another Binami top for up front. I already have one for the back. They make them where you can get two, or you can just buy two single ones and put it up, up there. Uh, I might do that. I think I want a Binami top for up here anyway, but another solution I have is to run the pump. I have a pump up here that used to be for the live well run the pump to some sprinklers, like little tiny sprinklers that can go underneath the seats and cool off the flooring whenever you turn a switch on. I think that's a cool idea. Uh, obviously get it all wet, but and as for slip resistant, it's pretty slip resistant. This is a little wet up here and I'm not slipping at all. So that's another idea. I don't know what I'm gonna do. For right now, I'm just gonna go with the top and if it gets unbearable, I can go ahead and put the sprinklers in. I think that's a cool idea anyway. But from now on, it's fine. Okay, I'm gonna be honest, I do not like this. It is way too big. I took measurements beforehand, like before I even bought this, and it seemed okay, but looking at it now, it's way too big. It looks really crowded up there, and I haven't even added the second one yet. I don't know. Uh, yeah, and it sucks. Also, if you wanna see like how bad I am with my OCD, these <laughs> weaves are really crooked. And it's really bothering me. <laughs> That's another reason I don't like this. As little as it may, may seem. I gotta figure out something else to do because I do not like this at all and I'm not keeping it.
tried to fix this hole with a brazing rod. Uh, I had a lot of comments saying use a brazing rod and I tried to do it. I don't know if I was doing it wrong or if my torch isn't hot enough, but it wasn't sticking. It was just falling right off. So that, that failed. Now there's a couple options to go from here. I could have it TIG welded. I'd have to take it somewhere professionally, have it done. I don't know how long they'll have it. It's just, there's a couple problems with that. It's just waiting for someone to do it and finding a good price for someone to do it. Um, or you guys suggested JB weld. I did a little bit more research into it on uh, people who did it on pontoons. It's pretty much all positive. Uh, people had it on for years, never had a problem with it leaking or anything. And if it does leak, the good thing about mine is water will only get to right here and I can just drain it out of this pontoon. It won't sink the rest of it. So we're going to try that option. It's only one little hole. Hopefully that's it. So JB weld, I'll pressure test all of them, make sure there's no other holes. And then yeah, we can start finish sanding and paint it. Here's the trailer. It about as bad as I expected. Uh, all this wood's gonna have to be replaced. Uh, this one's not too bad, but I'm gonna replace it anyway. That side really bad. And I, don't, I don't even think it was being holed up by much. I went ahead and ordered everything I need besides the wood. I'll have to find that locally. Or new wheels, uh, new hubs, new carpet. I also ordered new wiring and new tail lights, along with. I'm gonna figure out something to do with these. I like having tail lights up here too. That way if it's in the water, you can still see it at night if you're trying to load the trailer or whatever. So I'm gonna mess around with this. I don't know what all this is. I'm just gonna get rid of it and remake a new bracket to hold this. Cause obviously that failed pretty easily. This is gonna be another video. I'm gonna have a separate video just on this. That way it's not thrown in. Cause this is a good, good little project. And obviously I'm going to fix all this before I put it back underneath. That way it's just ready to go. To be honest with you, I expected it to look a little bit better, a little bit more modern, but it's, I don't know. 
So my original thought behind it was I would just get rid of all the corrosion and like all the bubbles, get rid of all that. And then I figured the paint underneath would be okay to just paint over. And since I'm not keeping it in the water, I figured if I take it out every time, it wouldn't really matter. It wouldn't start corroding or anything. So just paint over all of it, it'd be fine. Hopefully I'm right. Uh, if not, I guess I can take it all back down. I don't want to. I guess we'll just see how it lasts. I, I don't know. It's my first time painting a pontoon. I think it'll look better if the top was polished and just the paint on the bottom. It's just that it's really dull right now, so I think that's making it look pretty bad. I don't know, maybe it doesn't look bad. I don't I don't know. I just like the look of no paint on a pontoon and I just couldn't get that look with this because of how corroded it was. I don't know. <laughs> we'll figure it out. And I guess once the fencing is up and all that other stuff, it probably would look a lot better. It just looks really weird right now with nothing on it. It's definitely better than the blue and the gray that was on it right now, but I don't know. I just imagined it looking brand new, I guess, and uh, I think I'm just disappointed because it doesn't look brand new. I don't know. And that's a wrap for this episode, guys. We got most of the tedious stuff done, just the stuff I didn't really want to do, so I got all of that knocked out. Still might be a little bit. I might buff out those pontoons or try to buff them out. I think that will make it look a lot better, so I might do it one day. I just don't really want to. <laughs> Uh, flooring looks awesome. This has been like sitting out in the sun for two weeks. Nothing's majors happened to it. Uh, I had one lift up a little bit, but it was on the side where the fencing is going to go. So it's just going to be screwed back down anyway. So good news there. Well, I'll keep an eye on it for the long run. Make sure it's okay. And if it ever, anything ever happens to it, I will be sure to tell you guys, don't do this. <laughs> Me personally, I would probably just recommend doing carpet or vinyl. It's just a lot easier, a lot less hassle. And for about the same price, you know, you know, long term, you know, you know it's gonna last. But I really wanted this flooring. I had this whole picture in my head of it, so I wanted to do it, and nothing was gonna make me not do it. So that's really why I went with this whole flooring. Next episode, I've gotten so many packages in. My shipping companies definitely hate me. Now that I've gotten a bunch of parts in, hopefully I can start kicking these episodes out faster for you guys. Maybe not once a week, maybe twice a week, hopefully. I don't wanna make any promises on that, but I'm gonna try. In other news, thank you guys for watching. If you guys need to get in contact with me, email is definitely the best way. Email is right here. Also, I have an Instagram. I do a lot of behind the scenes stuff. I posted a picture on my story of the flooring. So you guys got a little sneak peek of that before I hit YouTube. YouTube actually told me that most of you guys aren't subscribed. I think like 80% of the people watching my channel aren't even subscribed to me, which is an interesting fact. I just wanna know why that is. So why aren't you <laughs> subscribed to me? Uh, yeah. I just want to leave that with that. I want to know why people don't subscribe to people so I can learn from it. But if you like what you see, you can like and you can subscribe to me. <laughs> Alright guys, that's it. Don't hit my camera. What are you doing? Come here. Alright, that is it. I will catch you in the next episode. Woo! Yeah.